Hello and welcome back everybody to Fallout 4. Uh, this is Benevolent Bonnie's Boston Airport Build Part 4. And I'm going to call this one the ugly part of the build because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically lay a very rough uh, foundation, rough kind of like estimate of what I want this building to look like. And... It's, it's going to be kind of all over the place. Um, but I kind of, I'm trying to get sort of like the, at least two of the three levels. I kind of want to just like eyeball where exactly they are, how much room I have with like the different type of uh, things I could use for the build and whatnot. And I really want to make level two like a Raider style setup. So it's going to be kind of sloppy, kind of junky kind of just all over messy all over the place type thing and i'm probably gonna just i'm gonna re redo it a few times because what i'm gonna do for level three is i want to make that all um all vault stuff um i'm just gonna use the the uh, stuff that i got from vault 88 like the rooms and all that um i'm gonna be using um the vault flooring the vault walls the vault just everything lighting etc for level three uh so that should be kind of interesting i think because i'm probably probably going to build something like you know how they have the little rooms in like vault 81 or whatever with little doors that slide up and they have like the yellow wallpaper or whatever i'm, I'm probably gonna do something like that for level three uh, however, I, I kind of, I need to get level two sort of situated first because that's going to be the one that's going to be just, just all messy, junky, just all over the place. So it's going to be an interesting transition. I, I will say that from the junkiest spot to like the most pristine spot. Uh, I have no idea what I want to do on the bottom level, like this level right here. I already have a few things in the back. So I'm probably going to make that like a separate room or something just for my own personal stuff. But for this whole area, and I don't know why this Nuka-Cola machine is being... All right, let's just get rid of it. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get rid of that. But I was what I was saying is... Like right now, I want to do something on the bottom here. I don't know exactly what. If anyone has any ideas or any uh, preferences, uh, leave them in the comments uh, because I, I'd be interested to uh, see what people say for the first floor. Anyway, yeah. So second floor, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna make just you know crazy, make messy, kind of all over the place. I can't put the regular like. Um, security uh guard post or anything uh, here at the airport because for whatever reason you're not allowed to use them i mean you can't even use a recruitment beacon in the airport so yeah this uh this settlement i really i, I don't think that they ever intended this to be a settlement i think they just gave this a give you a big old spot to um put up the the dish to get into the institute speaking of the institute uh, i put 12 hours into this character's game just you know doing quests and everything and i blew up the institute i blew it up with the minutemen i forgot how different blowing up the institute with the minutemen is you know most of the other ones they basically teleport into the institute they blow it up it's very close to the same thing uh the brotherhood of steel uses their big old robot to help but uh the way that the minutemen blow up the institute is very different and it's a little bit longer it's it's more interesting because i don't think there's any other way to unlock this specific spot unless you blow up the institute with the minutemen so if you haven't given the minutemen a go at the institute on your own uh, playthrough, uh, I would I would recommend doing it at least once. I mean, it is a little bit 
more difficult than blowing the institute up with the other groups. But it's it's also more rewarding a little bit in its own way. And um, yeah, this little platform right here, yeah, you actually can't build on. See, I can get like a a bit of a flooring or whatever here, but I can't build any farther in there. And yeah, this uh, this bridge or whatever is is getting in my way, so I'm gonna have to try something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, like you might see you might see someone walking past in this little spot. I mean, there he was. It's because I'm still friends with the Brotherhood of Steel, even though they're not too happy that I didn't use them to blow up the Institute. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... I want to start like this. And I'm thinking maybe I could put some sort of defense or something up here. But I'm also thinking, well, maybe that'll interfere with level 3, because I'm actually up a little bit higher than I wanted it to. Well, we'll give it a try, and um, we'll take a, another look at it. Like I said, this is kind of, you know, the sloppy, messy, ugly part of the build. And I'm just trying to get something that looks neat together. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this uh, bridge here, and I think it's just going to be in the way. So I'm removing it. You know, trial and error. I want to keep everything else that I put above it because I think that is right on, like, right flush with that elevator. Of course, you have to put a little bit extra ladder on the bottom there to finish the, the pattern of the ladder instead of having it floating in the air. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do to get some sort of flooring or whatever around these big old pillars that I made. I will figure that out eventually. Um, I'm not going to get rid of them. I might have to move them a little bit, but I'm not going to get rid of them. They're not, they're going to be staying put. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect either because this is the... Uh, the raider section, so might be able to get away with not doing much at all there. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, that's uh, that's clipping in. No, well, I'm pretty sure I'll figure out something with that. I gotta get this generator out the way. Um, I might try to use an exploit to clip it through the wall, or I might just get rid of it completely. And now that I have a, I'm level four. Uh, with the uh, science perk, I can put in one of the the nicer, more convenient generators. So I might replace that later on. I got to get this wall uh, closed off. Um, I guess I'll make it flush with the elevator. And I'm going to... Yeah, that, that worked pretty good. Now I'm going to have to get right over here behind the elevator... That's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to continue to use the uh, the shack walls. And it doesn't look like that wants to go in by itself. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to be using... Hey, that went through. Cool. All right, so I got that one little patch that needs to be put to get uh, replaced or uh, sealed up. Uh, I got, well, yeah, I might as well just use this wall. I forgot that I had that out here, actually. Um, let's get a, uh, let's get an ashtray and we'll do the ashtray glitch, exploit technique thingy, whatever. I'm not sure which one, I guess we can call it, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess we can call it a technique. I'm still used to calling it an exploit, so sorry, everybody. Uh, but anyway, whatever you want to call it, this wall is going to go back there, whether it wants to or not, because I said so. And that's, it's not bad. It doesn't got to be perfect. All right, cool. All right, well, that's done. And let's take a walk up here. All right, so 
yeah, I'm starting to see sort of what I want to do. Um, I don't do. I don't know if I want to if I want to close this all up or not. So that's that's the problem I'm having. Um, it would be nice to close it all up if I wanted to make something pretty on the bottom floor. Um, but that's going to be counterintuitive if you're trying to make something look something raider-ish. I, I, I don't know if that's a word, but that's the word I'm going to use. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I can make this work. Once again, it's I, I don't really don't want it to be flush. I kind of want it to be kind of all over the place. I can put steps there, I guess. I, I can probably put stairs there. Uh, make that work. Uh, I don't want to put anything on top of that because you, you know it's it's just like you, you found you know a grate out and somewhere in the open and just used it. So I'm cool with that. Uh, yeah, I want to I want to throw some de uh, defense up right now. Uh, I don't have the uh, guard po uh, the guard posts that I really want. The only guard posts that I have are the ones from. The vault because I don't know for some reason you can use the vault guard posts you can't use the regular ones and do, I don't all right I think I want to seal this off but I don't know if I want to use a pristine wall I think I want to use some, some kind of like effed up looking walls I'm probably gonna use the the barn stuff but I want to use the messed up walls and I think I'm going to maybe seal off the, the middle a little bit. Just have kind of like an entryway in the, in the middle. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Um, we'll use that wall and this wall. And I don't know if it's going to go on by its its free own free will or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm probably going to, once again have to use uh, like a, the ashtray technique or whatever. Um, I'm in the wrong menu, aren't I? Yep, there it is. So because everything's not mm, centered up and perfect on level two, uh, I'm going to have to just just rig the hell out of it. Um, but I'm okay with that. And it's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't even know why I tried to move it. Uh, I can always remove it. I can move it later on if I if it really starts bothering me. But right now, I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm already I'm already about 13 minutes in. Uh, like I said, I, I'm trying to keep these videos at like 15 minutes or less. But I mean, this is this is part four. I don't want to have twenty parts of this, so I might I might start putting out half hour videos. Um, if you have uh, an opinion on longer videos, if you if you don't mind if I do them, or if it's going to bother you because it's just going to be too long, so you don't have a lot of like free time. I get that. Um, whichever works for you please leave that in the comments uh it will be easier for me to make a longer video and put it all together in one shot um but i think it's a little bit easier to watch when it's you know at a shorter time so yeah leave a comment i guess on that and uh i have 94 subscribers now last i checked and thank you guys so much um you know, just a month or so, maybe two months ago now, I had maybe 30. And a couple months before that, I had like 13. And maybe a month before that, I only had about six people. So uh, uh, I know that it's it's a slow it's a, uh, slow trickle of people that are actually stopping in and checking out my stuff. But I, I do appreciate it. And I'm glad that you guys found me. I'm glad that you take the little bit of uh, free time that you have just to kind of like hang out and chill with me. Um, 
and I, I always I like feedback I like comments I mean even if you don't like it leave me that type of comment cause that'll help me in the future um, to keep everyone entertained instead of making stuff that everyone's like alright we're sick of this kid um, uh, yeah I wanna I'm gonna have to get rid of this this stuff right here I think what I want to do is I'm going to start putting some of the, the vault floors in and I'm also once again I'm, I'm almost at the top uh, the, the full the size limit which I mean the the gun technique seems to work so I might be throwing a bunch of guns on the floor and uh, bringing that uh, that size back down again I'll probably do it off camera I did that once already on camera it works very well I appreciate you guys for telling me that um and i'm i'm actually i'm over the 15 minute mark so let me just uh finish this up and then we can get kind of an idea of where the levels are going to be how much room i have what i can do here and then i will um start being able to put it all together and you know finish this this project this is one of the more ambitious builds that i've done um and usually i don't actually take this much time with making uh, something this big because uh before i knew about that gun trick when you get to uh the build limit i'm like okay well i guess i'm gonna have to finish up what i'm doing and just like what i have um well, I'll just show you what I have so far. So that's where the, the vault stuff is going to start. This is the radar stuff that I have so far. Over in this section, I wanted to make sort of like a bridge, but I don't think that's going to happen now because we don't have that type of bridge I'm looking for. Um, but I'll figure something else out for that. Uh, there's definitely something that's going to cross from the one wall to the other at, at that part. And this is what I have so far. I mean, I guess you can see a little bit going on in the back there we got some a little more defense going on uh you can kind of see the beginnings of level three um but that's about it uh that's about it for tonight i hope you both enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one have a good evening afternoon or morning whatever it is bye now